Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew divorced in 1996, with the Duchess of York claiming that she received very little from the royal family in her settlement, but the true sum totaled was actually very high, according to senior palace sources. Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew divorced in 1996, ending their 10-year marriage and four-year period of separation. Their deteriorating marriage mirrored that of Prince Charles and Princess Diana, who also divorced in 1996 after separating in 1992. The Queen had intervened with both couples, when she urged them to divorce in a meeting at Sandringham at Christmas in 1995. Before the Duke and Duchess of York's divorce was finalized in May 1996, the Queen issued a statement refusing to pay Fergie's debts as part of any deal. She was reported to be in debt by as much as pound 4.2 million at the time, over pound 7.7 .7 million in today's money. The Duchess of York memorably began promotional work with Weight Watchers following the divorce, from which she reportedly received a £2 million a year fee. Added to this, when Fergie was secretly filmed as part of an undercover sting in 2010, she repeatedly stated she got zero in her divorce settlement. However at other points in the tape she claimed that the divorce deal provided her with only £15,000 a year. Fergie also told the undercover reporter she was living off of the trust funds of her daughters, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie. She reportedly said on the tape, I left the royal family with friendship, no money. Diana left with £20 million and that's why the Queen is my friend because I never took a bean from them. Diana won her divorce terms of a £17 million lump sum and £400,000 a year, worth over £31 million and £780,000 in today's money, in a move which shocked and outraged Prince Charles. The Prince of Wales had to borrow from the Queen to meet the terms and drained his personal wealth, according to his former personal banker. The Duchess of York's claims reportedly infuriated palace officials, with a senior courtier telling the The Telegraph, the Duchess's claims are quite extraordinary. The source added, she was treated extremely generously and she has now behaved appallingly. Senior sources gave the newspaper details of the 1996 divorce settlement, totaling around £3 million, which included £500,000 provided by the Queen for her to buy a new house for her and her children. Pound 1.4 million provided by the Queen to set up a trust fund for Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie. 350,000 pounds in cash provided by the Queen which had no restrictions on its use. In agreement that the Duke of York would pay his daughter's private school and university fees. A modest monthly allowance which it is believed was then based on the Duke of York's salary as a Royal Navy officer. However, Another source disclosed to the newspaper that Fergie took advice around the year 2000 from Diana's divorce lawyer, Anthony Julius, who helped the Princess of Wales secure her staggering divorce settlement. They reported that Fergie had a view to, to go back to the royal family and renegotiate the settlement and that Mr. Julius was outraged by how small the settlement was. However, in the end, the Duchess of York did not pursue a new divorce deal. Unlike Diana, who was bound to a strict confidentiality clause by her divorce terms, Fergie has been able to disclose details of her married life and has made an estimated pound 2.2 million from writing her autobiographies. She has also remained in the marital home with Prince Andrew, in an unusual relationship which has prompted many royal watchers to speculate that the pair may be set to rekindle their romance.